Okay, so we got to find a, a hidden storm cloak camp in Falkreath. I'm pretty sure I know where that is. I think it's I think it's the one that's not far from Helgen. I can't think of any other Stormcloak camps. I was trying to think if there was one in the forest around Falkreath, but I can't think of where there would be one in the forest. So I think the closest one is the the one hidden along the mountain the mountain road coming out of Helgen, maybe. Not sure. Thanks, Anne. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Um, I think a live stream is probably the the perfect vehicle for doing low-level character play. Are you coming after me? He's looking like he, he's going to push it. Warm enough territory now that we don't need that anymore. Oh, here's that jester they were talking about. Weird. Good luck with that, pal. There's a war on. I got things to do. I have to find someone else to fix your cart. Uh, yeah, Gail, the, the original Mortal Blade series was, you know, it wasn't a playthrough, it wasn't a role play, it was kind of a weird thing, right? It was me testing a lot, out a lot of ideas and asking the viewers to help me kind of validate whether or not some of these were good ideas or bad ideas or needed changes, you know, stuff like that. Really? Circle of Death. Come on. Yeah. All right. What you got? Got that. Got some of this crap. Got lots of garbage. All right, well, glad I could help here. So many times when I've played this game, you know, it's just I've either not dealt with the Civil War quest line or I've been on the Imperial side. So it's very weird to even walk by Whiterun understanding that it's under the control of the Stormcloaks. It's just strange. Um, but... It works for this character, and what I like about that decision is that it introduces later on, when you get to high-level gameplay, when the Civil War is over, the, <clears throat> the fallout from the war, the fallout from the choices that you make in the Civil War can have a really uh, interesting impact on this character. You know, as you start to think through the ramifications of some of the decisions you made during the war, uh, particularly with the way that I sort of put together this character's background and their belief system. The the idea was I wanted them, I I wanted there to be some conflict later on or some um, questioning, you know, questioning whether or not he made the right decisions, because. He, he believes in the ideals of the Stormcloaks right now. I mean, of course, people should be able to, you know, practice whatever religion they want to. It's unreasonable. It's not, it's not right. It's unjust, you know? But then there's the larger ramifications of starting a war over that issue, right? And, uh, you know, 
He's a young man who's hot-headed and he's fired up. He's filled with passion, right? And then as, as the character becomes older and has more experiences, uh, you start to come to the realization that maybe some of the decisions you made when you were younger were rash and not thought out very well and uh, things like that. So siding with the storm cloaks I know that there's a lot of people who think that siding with the storm cloaks is really an unsavory thing and they can't bring themselves to do it for one reason or another but I would highly encourage you to do it only because there are problems with it and it's the complexities and the problems of that decision that make this character so interesting you could play a mortal blade that sided with the legion but my view is that at the heart of this character concept is all of that conflict and if you take that conflict away you've gutted this concept and it's not mortal blade anymore um so one of the things we see with this character at higher level is you know this idea of breaking away from stormcloak ideology because it no longer conforms with what he believes to be right, you know? Good afternoon. So that that kind of moral conflict, I think, is super important if you're going to have a character with, with any sort of real depth. Um, so that's kind of what I went for with this. So I just saw, you know, a lot of people in the comments talking about how they could never support the Stormcloaks. Well, I would highly encourage you to create a new character and give it a try. You may think it's unsavory, but if you craft a character around the idea that this is going to be your choice and that you're going to embrace the conflict that it creates, then I think it's a really cool experience. So that was the main reason that I even came up with this concept is I was trying to think of, you know, what what would be a circumstance in which I would choose to join the Stormcloaks? Because it was hard for me to imagine one, but I wanted to do it. And I thought, here's a great way to do it. I can introduce a whole bunch of conflict and turmoil into a character's life and see how it plays out. So, I find that stuff to be interesting. Not everybody does, so. Okay, holy shit. We've come a long way. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything that we need while we're here. What do you need? Well, that's what I was just thinking about, what I needed. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry right. you had to hear that. No worries. I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Uh, yeah, what happened? We, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. What? An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Oh, wait. You mean this? You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Uh -huh. I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Okay. Say, uh, is your sister uh, it means so attached? Much to us to have the Thank you back so it much for taking... Thank you. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Anything interesting? I don't know. Not especially. What have we got that we can offload? Or convert to cash. No, 
Not much, man. All right, then. Sagramore has a pretty lean loadout. But he's not rolling in cash either. I mean, he, he makes enough money to get by and have a little uh, extra walking around cash if he needs it. But it's not like he's rolling in dough, which I think is probably fitting for this character. Whatever you need. You looking for a new blade? Uh, actually, I'm interested in what you've got for armor. Take a look. Always looking at armor. I don't know why. Just am. Okay. At some point, we're going to have to upgrade the armor, but I just don't like mm -hmm. the kind of vanilla steel armor. I've never really liked the look of it. So... I think we we would definitely go with something else. But the stuff we got on, I mean, it's uh, very utilitarian. Which is fine, because we're not at a stage yet where I think we're ready to quote-unquote be heroic. So I think utilitarian is fine. That's cool. Plus, I kind of like the idea that... Uh, if we change it up, I would like it to either be because we encountered something in the world that made it worthwhile, or that there was some significance in the story to the switch, you know? Some, some change in his status or his situation that made the switch plausible, made it make sense, you know, that kind of deal. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's keep moving. Whoa. What are we doing here? Look out. Okay. It occurs to me too that we have not we have not yet selected a stone. This might be a good opportunity for us to just grab one of the guardian stones, the warrior one, while we're going by here. That extra 20% probably would have got us to level 6 and beyond in this session, I would think. But that is the issue with alternate start, right? He's starting somewhere else. So, let's do this. We will use this sign for now. But ultimately... The stone... The stone of the mortal blade is going to be... Either the lady stone or the lord stone. One of the two. Probably... More commonly, the the Lord Stone. That's that's the one that I've I've used most often. I did switch off, use the Lady Stone once because the stamina buffs are pretty nice. Stamina regen. That's okay. Where's the Stormcloak going? And what's going on with his helmet? It seems like there's something wrong with his helmet or his head or something. All right, so we got to get on up here to Helgen. And then after after we get to Helgen, you hang a left and head up the mountain. And somewhere just before you get to the mountain pass, I think where Hamar's shame is and all that business before you get there I think that's where the hidden storm cloak camp is I'm pretty sure so we'll see
Oh, wow. Ooh. Torched bodies. Outside the gates. Well, we've heard all of these rumors of a dragon attack on Helgen, so this situation should not be too much of a surprise. Oh, shit. All right, let's find a defensible spot. Funnel him. Come on. Come on. Ah, level six. Damn it. Son of a bitch. <sighs> where are we going to start? I can't remember where I saved last. It's probably going to be Riverwood, right? Of course. Son of a bitch. Let's look at our map. Mapalonia. Um... I do not have... Oh, yeah. The Stormcloak camp is where I thought it would be. Yeah, I don't have any map markers between here and there. So, we're going to make the run. If you're looking for work, go see if I'll get the name. No way am I letting those chumps send me packing like that that guy his his blows went right through my block absolutely right through my block and I, I think I burned through most of my stamina though I probably probably didn't have any reasonable stamina left so I think I screwed myself on that we'll give it another go I was talking earlier about how this character is a stamina monster. Yeah, you. we get to a point where we stop alternating health and stamina and then just start investing the remainder of our... We stop investing in health and just start investing everything in stamina. Um, that's after we get to a certain base in health. I can't remember what it is. I'd have to look at the document. But... Um, that gets pretty fun because then when we get to high level that's when we really start doing some cool stuff chaining together charging power attacks and, and stuff like that which is super fun I love that a lot so okay so I think what I'm going to do is we'll get up to Helgen and then I'm going to do a quick save, which is what I should have done before, but I failed to do so. And then we'll go for it. <coughs> Thanks, Grumpy Kite. Uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed the stream. <coughs> Had a ton of fun doing it. I love doing streams. I've never done a stream this long before. I've never done a six hour stream. I've gotten close. I did a, a couple of five-hour streams in the past, but uh, never one this long. I wasn't exactly planning on going this long, but here we are. So that also is a testament to the game. And I think I finally uh, worked out most of the hitches that I've been having in the past with my live stream process. Gotten to a point where it runs fairly smoothly now, so getting in and out of the streams is... Not such a big deal, you know. Um, I got a good process also for doing the breaks. 
So I'm, you know, taking a break every hour, hour and a half, something like that. That works out pretty good too. So, uh, the mods are are many. Um, eventually, there will be a mod list, but it'd be pretty boring if I just stated them all. So. Okay, let's do this. Let's quick save here. Now let's give this another go. Oh god, here they come. Alright, we need some place where we'll have some kind of strategic advantage. Let's see if we can at least make them fight uphill. I'm most concerned... Well, this two-handed guy... is... Okay, he went down with a single blow. Big shield guy. He's a problem. Circle of death. There we go. Yeah, I can take you. Oh! Alright, she was a little scary. Mages still scare me a bit. Okay. This guy blew through my defense before, but I was a little bit more um, conservative using my stamina this time, so I think that helped. I'm going to take the War Axe. Pretty good weight to value ratio on the helmets. What do you got? Anything? No. Garbage. Alright, let's uh, have a look-see. There's more bandits in here. All right, I'm thinking some head protection would be good. Actually, let's go with our weird iron helmet of witches. See if we can accumulate some more points toward our explosion of greatness or whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't even know what the effect is. I have no freaking clue, but... Ooh. Damn! I think I killed him with a shield block. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, more points. I don't know what these points are for, damn it. Um, ale, we'll take that. Copper and onyx circlet, we'll take that. More water skins. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. This loot will take. Where are you? Can't wait to count out your toy. Ah, he's up there. And he is on my list. What is this? Trash. There. God, I love the charging power attack. Ooh, it's just the best. 
And we're not really even getting any decent bonuses for the damn thing yet either. So playing on expert difficulty today. We'll take the torch too. Playing on expert difficulty and oh wait. Uh we got a level here too. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what did I invest in last? So level one was health, two stamina, three health, four stamina, five health. Okay. Let's look here. If Okay, heavy armor mastery. We'll just keep kind of working our way along here. Okay. So, we'll do a quick save here since we have made our level choices. Okay, I think we've got... There's probably some bandits inside the fortress as well. So I think what we're going to do is we'll, we'll clean them out. And then after that, we'll make our way to the Falkreath Stormcloak camp. And that will be a good place to create a save and knock off for the evening, I think. Okay. Pretty sure everyone outside here is toast already. having. Key is good. That is all junk. I think one of the things that this character concept will struggle with, you know, Holds of Skyrim, this would be a good book for him to have as well, uh, is making money, right? I mean, he needs to have a source of income so that he can continue the fight, continue the war. Uh, so he needs to finance the stuff that he's doing. But, I mean, that becomes a problem, right? When you're so passionate about your mission, you want to be engaged in activities that are furthering your mission at all times. So the trick is always finding ways to further the mission and make enough money to finance the effort at the same time. So there are several different ways you can do that. Um, I, I think that it's, you know, it's interesting to invest in, in some areas of speech craft if you can that will allow you to, you know, invest in businesses or things that, that fit with what you're doing, stuff like that. But uh, you kind of have to think through those things and make sure those decisions sort of fit philosophically with where the character's at. That's not always easy, so. All right. Here we go. Let's go get these guys. Surprise. You have a bad time to get lost. I'll try and make this cool. Okay. Alright. She'll kill me if she has to. Okay.
Steel war axe. Eh, it's worth some good money, but it's pretty heavy too. So, not gonna worry about it. Salt. We will take salt. Food. We will take food. Here. We've also got some fresh meat. The pheasant also adds crafting feathers, but we don't care much about that because this is not a ranged weapon character. We have a bow we use pretty much strictly for hunting and nothing else. So... Stamina and health potions are good. Definitely, definitely take the food. Take a couple cabbages. I think this is this is a point in in the character's growth where I like to get to, right? We're, we're sort of at this point where a lot of the real heavy-handed storytelling that falls around the Civil War quest line and the Alduin quest line is now complete. And we've got a character who's got these things behind him, but a lot of adventuring ahead of him, and we can kind of settle into our role as a Stormcloak, as an adventurer, as uh, someone who's pursuing the enlightened the enlightenment of the mortal blade right um, I always like that we get to that point we get past all that garbage and can kind of focus on the story oh shield bash I do love you so Okay, we're going to take that book. We're intrigued by this whole Dragonborn thing now. Healing, yes. And we are now starting to sort of officially fall away from the lock picking a bit more. But uh, one of the things that I will be doing is looking around for a mod in special edition that will allow us to bash locks open with war hammers and you know stuff like that that's definitely a route that we would like to go black arrow oh we had that book already actually you know what that book's worth keeping we could sell that and we do like the ale ale is great um anything else here so, when I was playing in Legacy Skyrim, this this character was using a mod that would allow him to basically just smash a lock open. Um, it wasn't foolproof. It was possible for me to fail in doing that. So, we'll see if we can do the same thing. I just haven't explored the mods for Special Edition to see if one's available yet. If anybody knows if one is, let me know, but I'll probably be doing that research later. Oh, pathetic. Stormcloak soldier, imprisoned. And we were too late to release him. Alright. Got anybody left down here? Time to get lost, friend. Bandit in chief. Get out of the way, you fuck. Okay, time to use the old potions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me a bunch of those and one of those. 
This is the end for you. Just die! You won't get the best of me! God damn it. Need something? Yeah, I need you to shut up. Uh, get crabby. It's a bandit chief. Freaking bandit chief. Alright. Alright, let's do... Let's run through these guys. Damn you! Hmm. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the healing potions. But I'm going to clear the rest of these bastards out first. Then come back and get it. We will come back and get it. I thought I heard something. That's for you. Where are your friends? Have you any? Ooh, I'll take that. Someone there. Oh, I see. Time to end this little game. <laughs> oh, God, did that feel good? Ran right through her. Mmm. Host. I really wanted this bandit chief again. She had steel armor and an orcish mace. Pretty well armed. Plus she had help. This is a surprise. Ooh, wow. Oh, yeah. I can ah, you son of a bitch. Yes. <sighs> I can't take them all at once. I keep getting engaged in in a way that I keep playing him as if he were a high level warrior and he's not. So, I need to string them out. As much as I hate doing that, I need to draw them out, string them out, so I can fight them sort of single file. Drives me nuts. Huh? That's the smart play. I mean, these guys, no sweat. No sweat. Let's try and... I think I took some shit there I didn't want. Charging power attack. Ooh, nice. She got a nice block in there. She totally broke my power attack. That was actually pretty impressive. Didn't do her much good after that, but still. Okay. Now, face your doom, bandits. See, like, even this hallway is too wide. They're still going to be able to flank me. Okay. 
I think you picked a bad time to get lost. Huh? We're gonna take Get on the bridge. Get on the bridge, you bitches. Oh shit, it's happening again. It's happening again. Because I'm getting arrows in my back. Do your worst. God damn it. Fuck that mace. What? Shit. That archer. I can't decide who to kill first. The archer. Okay, the archer's gotta go. The archer is pretty well protected. Because I gotta go through that dipshit with the shield first. Okay. You won't live to see tomorrow. Okay, let's go up here. Now. How are they going to come at me? Oh, smart. They're going to surround me. Great. Okay, bridge. Single file. Get in here. God, I'm screwed. Absolutely screwed. All right, fighting retreat. Get some distance, get some distance. Oh man, they're all over me, man. Damn. Yes. Ugh, fuck you. Fuck you. Seriously. All right. What is this? Attempt number five. Okay. We can definitely use the battle cry. We could try that. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't using it before. Because I never think about these things. So. Let's try that. See if that is enough. Circle of death on you. Okay. Here we go. We are routed. Okay. Now, that did the job, right? So. in on the chief. Oh, she's... I swear I'll kill you. That's all you've got? God dang it. Jesus Christ. I just assumed because she was coming back at me, running my direction, that my battle cry didn't work on her. I mean, why would she run at me if she was scared of me? That makes no fucking sense at all. And I could have been wailing on her the whole time. I'm 
lot of stamina. Come on, son of a bitch. Oh, shit. I can take you. Okay. Well, this might be all right. This might be all right. All right. I'm going to take a breather. Healing. Am I going to be able to get out of here? I don't even know. Okay. Hey, that's timely. Okay. Yeah, right up this way. Oh, here comes the chief. Can't wait to counter your coin. Jesus. Anybody else left? I don't know. I think there might be one more. Let's take the mace. Let's take the money. Steal, steal. I'll take the Nordic gauntlets. I'll take the steel armor. I detest the helmet, but I'll take it anyway. Alright, let's see what else. See if they're all dead. I don't know if they're all dead, so... Okay. Oh! I did get him. Steel sword, studded armor, mostly garbage. This guy didn't loot. Iron, iron, iron. Wow. Jeez. Thanks for sticking it out with me, people. Wow. I, I think I did myself a big favor by jumping off that ledge. Oh, there's no worse feeling in the world than being in a desperate situation and running out of stamina. Oh, this is the worst. But we made it. So let's go back, see what's left here. We'll take inventory, see what we've acquired. I know I said I didn't like steel armor very much, but the fact of the matter is the protection would be awfully nice. So we'll see. We'll just take a look at what we got. Uh, steel arrows, I'll take them. Not much else here I can use. Okay. Nord Mail Heavy Bracers. Well, it's heavy armor, so I'm going to take it until I can check it out. And that is worth money, so. Ugh. What an awful slog that was. Nothing. Nothing I was trying was working. No, I did not mute my cursing, and uh, if, if the sound went out, it was just probably a bandwidth issue. I didn't see any pauses in the stream on my end or anything like that. So, But you've got sound now, right? So... Hopefully it had sound at least on the last attempt. It took me five or six tries. I don't know how many it was. Five? It's awful. Okay. Let's get the F out of here. Take stock of where we're at. I should probably take some of this crap. Just because... I'm hoping there's a quartermaster or someone like that that I can sell things to, maybe. That would be great. This we're going to take. It's very timely. Uh, that, I got everything in there already. This guy didn't really have anything. And these things we would take. And if I remember correctly, we liked that book. So, 
That's good. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to get outside and see what I've got. i got to decide if this steel armor is something I should keep or not. I just feel like it's... Well, I guess we can look at it right here. Not sure how I feel about it. But I guess it's important, I think, that this character start from humble means and work his way up. The Nordic Steel Gauntlets, I've always loved how those look. Now, these, of course, are not enchanted. The enchantments that we have on our other bracers, these bracers of brutality, are actually kind of nice to have. Okay. But, we did acquire some steel armor looks pretty good in it, I gotta say. But, uh... Let's see what this other stuff is. The Nordic Gauntlets. The Helmet. Wow. The helmet looks stupid on the Bandit Chief, but it actually doesn't look too bad on him. I, I've never really dug the steel armor too much. Uh, but, I don't know. Just in terms of stats, steel armor, 43. And what, our upgraded brigand is 46. So that's not to say that we couldn't upgrade the other stuff, but I don't know. I th I think I like the sort of workmanlike look of this stuff, right? Um, for now, but we've got some good pieces in our inventory that we could. I think we could play around with a little bit and put something together that was pretty satisfying. Uh, eventually, the mortal blade gets to a point where he kind of comes into his own and is able to afford to create the things that he needs to sort of create the image that he's looking to create. I would say that the Mortal Blade is definitely image aware. <laughs> he's not preoccupied with it, but he's image aware and he would understand the advantages that an intimidating presence could have given what he's trying to accomplish. So, now we just need to find the Stormcloak camp, which is up this hill here, I believe. And I'm just curious to see how we're doing. Holy crap. We're well on our way to level 7. By the looks of it, it looks like we gained about a level an hour <laughs> because I'm approaching seven straight hours of live streaming, which is insane. Um, Uh, will I make different armor choices? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think 
in my last playthrough, I used a, a combination of some customized ebony armor and then also some, gosh, Stormlord. I used a modified version of the Stormlord armor with my own custom texture. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably play around with both of those again. But um, there's a lot of options to explore. So I'll probably explore some other stuff too. I think it's up here. Yeah, right? This is it. Yeah. Okay. Hey. By the nine, I hate the waiting. The goddamned waiting. Well, the waiting will be over soon enough. Next Imperial I see is dead. Okay. <sighs> Ice Veins has arrived. Anyone? Euler? Euler? Okay. I kind of figured they'd be up in this cave area, but obviously they're not. They're over that away. So, let's um let's jog on over there. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, okay. Well, there he is. That we have forgotten them. This I fear the gods will remember. Sometimes I wonder if Ulfric understands what I'm dealing with out here. Reporting in. You're going to Fort Newgrad. They have some of our boys locked up there. But with a little luck... We can turn that to our advantage. I've sent some men to scout out the area. Meet them. See if you can't find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. They'll never suspect an attack from the inside. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. You got the grit to get this done? Of course. Nothing I can't handle. Good. Don't die out there. Not gonna happen, my friend. I'll only die five or six times, but that's all Some right. Some say Ulfric desires to be king and nothing more. Have they not seen that his anger floats on a sea of tears? Hmm. Hey. We have some time. I got a question for you. Ice veins. Yeah. Um... What do you know about the Greybeards? Ulfric can tell you more than most anyone. He was studying to be a Greybeard himself back before the Great War. Hmm. All right. I know why you joined Watch the Watch yourself folks. out there. All right. Well, let's see if maybe there's a quartermaster here. A lot of banging going on. Gotta be. Ah. Uh. Hey, you By buy and nine, sell stuff? I hate the waiting. The goddamned waiting. What do you need? Uh, I don't know. What do you got? Let's get rid of some crap. Like that, that, that. Uh, let's see. Fermental white. Don't need that. My boots. No. Okay. Definitely don't need that. Nord mail heavy bracers. Protection of 20. Steel Nordic gauntlets. Protection of 20. So those kind of replicate each other. Uh, and I like the steel ones better. I like how those look. So off you go. Steel armor. God. I feel sort of compelled to keep that armor for now. So.
There. Just chet a whole crap ton of weight. actually doing pretty good on money and I, I feel like we haven't been too preoccupied with carrying trash around I mean 1600 I feel like that's pretty good money for now so uh, let's see anything interesting here it's pretty cool we're starting to see orcish weapons show up Hey, Kitty. Thing are fine. Uh, how are thing with you? <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Dude. You okay? Oh, shit. What is this, like, quarantine tent? You guys took a beating, huh? You want to talk about it? Oh, the pain. Somebody stop. The pain. Oh, God. Well. Damn faithless Imperials. Appears that someone's looking out for them. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have now hit the seven hour mark and I am going to create a hard save here. And I am going to bid you all adieu. Thank you all so much for attending this epic Couch Warrior TV live stream of Skyrim Special Edition, the Mortal Blade character concept. I thank you all for, for watching, for your time and attention. And uh, I would encourage you, if you're interested in learning more about the Mortal Blade, go to mortalblade.charactercrusade.com. You will also find that link uh, down below in the description. And uh, you can look forward to more Mortal Blade live streams coming up in the future. Uh, these these are a lot of fun to do, and we made it almost to level 7 today, which I think is quite an accomplishment. A lot of stuff happened, so I'm very satisfied with how this is turning out. So if you're interested, if you're intrigued at all by the Mortal Blade character build, uh, follow that URL. That's going to take you to Tamriel Vault, where you can find all the details on how to do the build yourself. You can also find an experimental series on my YouTube channel that deals with uh, the Mortal Blade at high level. It was used for testing purposes, but if you want to check out kind of how some of the decisions were made about how the build came together, you can check that out. Otherwise, you can just continue to follow this. This role play will take us from level one all the way up to whatever, I'm not sure. Uh, and we may be actually in the future building in some of the Bruma mod into this. I'm, I'm not entirely sure yet, but that is one of my goals, so. I want to thank you all much for your, uh, very much for your, your time and your attention, and all have a great evening, and I will see you next time.